I'm Rich Colgan of the Paulist Fathers, and I've been a priest 34 years. I'm presently Director of Novices and on the formation team with the students in theology as well. I was studying to be a diocesan priest and uh, was uh, right here in Washington, D.C., getting my bachelor's degree in philosophy and decided that I meant to be a uh, community priest. And uh, next door was St. Paul's College. And I heard about Isaac Hecker and his uh, tradition uh, right next door to where I was presently studying. And I found it very appealing being uh, in an ecumenical family all my life, my dad being of Methodist tradition and my mom being the Catholic, uh, the uh, tradition of Isaac Hecker and his mother till she died uh, was Methodism. So the ecumenism uh, really uh, attracted me and also that desire for mission outreach that now I could do in community rather than uh, on my own in uh, northern New York in those one-man parishes. That uh, wonderful understanding of human nature, of a, a positive understanding of human nature, a great love uh, for people uh, really appealed to me that uh, that sense of uh, God working through everyone and the Holy Spirit working uh, through people. I love that uh, Holy Spirit sprout spirituality of his, that ecumenical spirit. Um, so uh, the uh, that sense in his writings of also searching and truly appreciating people where they were at in their lives of searching for God and for the divine, uh, the, the genuineness of his writings appealed to me. Well, I would say that uh, one of the things is he is a man for the 21st century, even though um, one of my favorite books is Religious History of the American People by Sidney Alstrom. And in that book, he said, more than any other Catholic figure of the 19th century, Isaac Hecker prefigured the adjournamento of Vatican Council II. And that understanding that he had such a prophet that he was. And the saints are prophets. They're ahead of their time. He also had such a holiness to be able to be a both and, a, a mystic and a missionary. Mysticism and missionary are not either or. It really goes hand in hand, and his writing so, so, shows such a mysticism. And also all the journeys of searching and struggle that people have. Uh, John the 23rd, knowing that he was dying of cancer, and yet Vatican II. Isaac Hecker, near the end of his life, truly struggling. And I think I agree with uh, one of the writers on Isaac Hecker, John Farina, who views that uh, it's possible that Isaac Hecker was struggling with leukemia. And so that, that sense of the holiness of people in the midst of uh, physical and spiritual struggles uh, should be part of uh, being saints rather than take from being saints. Mm -hmm.